Rents continue to stream into the Rio Grande Valley. One shelter is getting a grant to pay for bills, keep lights on, and pay for meals. But not all the people they serve are from Central America. Meet Ardo Rangolta. The champion chess player will soon be teaching the game at the San Benito School District. Everyone coming from my country is coming here for the American dream. Much like the game, his life has been a series of calculated moves. He left everything back in Cuba to pursue his dreams of teaching the game of chess in the United States. Because I am a professional chess player, I was invited to Mexico, and from the Mexican capital, I went to Laredo. His latest move landed him here at La Posada Providencia. The San Benito shelter helps immigrants from around the world seeking asylum or refuge in the U.S. I don't have family here, but like in chess and like in life, it was a decision I made. With the help of volunteers, he's working on his English and is a step away from having a social security card so he can start work in the fall. But he's not the typical immigrant now portrayed in the media. But much like the Central Americans now flooding the Rio Grande Valley, he came for a better life. I've seen the families that are trying to come over here because they have to flee or they want to improve their lives. With the increase of Central American immigrants, the number of immigrants La Posada has served quadrupled over the past four years. The majority are women and children. Now a $25,000 grant recently awarded to the shelter will go a long way. I think the lights on and the running, and the water running. Is Many of the Central Americans are making their way to this shelter. Eduardo says some of them have even been his roommates. Honduras. In Honduras and in other countries, they talk about violence like we are not used to in Cuba. Fortunately for Eduardo, he is from a country where the U.S. allows him to stay legally. La Posada will continue to help immigrants as long as funds are available. In the newsroom, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.